And today we're going to be checking out this 600 watt all stainless steel food dehydrator. This is a multi-purpose dehydrator. You can do everything from fruit, fruits, veggies, beef jerkies, dog snacks if you want. You can make your own fruit roll-ups. It'll just dehydrate anything that you need to get dehydrated. But it also comes with a lot of trays and accessories to help you get that done. And on top of all that, it also comes with this pretty thick uh, instruction booklet or I guess recipe book on different things that you can dehydrate and how to dehydrate those. So let's go ahead. We're going to bring the camera in, take a closer look. I want to show you everything that you get with this dehydrator. All right. So, so far with this food dehydrator, I have done strawberries, bananas, and a ton of beef jerky. And I will show you some images of that. And I also want to show you the functionality. Over here is your power button for powering off and on. You have a light control. This is for your timer. And you can just hit the plus button. It goes in 30 minute increments. And you can set your timer all the way up to a 24 hour day. And then the same with the temperature. You can go all the way down. Let's see how far we can go. And as you can see, you can go in one degree increments. So it's a very precise temperature control. You can go all the way down to 86 degrees. Now let's see how high we can go. And we can go all the way up to 194 degrees. And I don't know if I said it or not, but this is the light button. And you can see that once it's kicked on, how the number quit flashing. It's now a solid number and it shows you temperature and it has these little indicators to let you know that everything is working. As you can tell, it's on right now. It's very quiet. I'm going to go ahead and open it up and we can see inside. If I pull some of these trays out that come with it, we'll go over everything that is included with the dehydrator. But you can see that they have the safety grate right here. You have your heating element in the back and then there's a circulator fan. And as you can tell, everything is in stainless steel and it does have the nice glass door in the front so you can monitor your, your cooking or dehydrating as it's occurring. Now with this dehydrator, you will get a pair of these silicone mitts. They're like little finger mitts for grabbing the trays and pulling them out. You can see the one minute timer went off, so the whole thing's shutting down. Here's a closer look at the food drying machine, food processing expert book. And it just tells you what settings to use on all different fruits, vegetables, meats, fish, pretty much anything that you're going to need to dehydrate. So it's nice to have this comprehensive guide. You are going to get a couple of these silicone mats or trays. And the way I use these is I just put them on top of a tray like this. And then I put them in the bottom of the dehydrator when I'm doing beef jerky or things that will drip to catch those fluids. And you do get two of these. And then you have the standard mesh trays. This is what I use for bananas and strawberries. And you just lay out all your pieces of your fruit and you just insert them. As you can see, you can put one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten different trays in here at a time. And they do give you a full ten trays. So you have enough trays to fill every single slot. As you can see, that's going to hold a ton of fruit a ton of vegetables, a ton of meat or anything else that you're trying to dehydrate. But they also give you a dedicated jerky rack. And I'm going to show that to you real quick. We'll pull these out real fast. And they do also give you this uh, silicone mesh mat as well. Just figured I'd throw that in there real quick. But here is your tray for making beef jerky and such. And what you do is it comes with these four skewers like this and you stab it through your meat and then you rest them with the meat hanging through and you can do a ton of meat with this style setup. And so once you get all the meat on the rack, then you slide the rack in and I'll show you an image of what it's supposed to look like real quick. And then what I do is I put the silicone tray in the bottom like this to catch all the drippings and any seasoning and stuff like that falls off. So this setup is a very complete setup. It comes with 
the 10 stainless trays, it comes with the two silicone trays, it comes with the silicone mat, it comes with the meat hanging rack. You also get your cookbook, you also get your silicone gloves for removing trays. You can set your temperature in single digit increments. You can set your timer up to 24 hours. It has a built-in light. It's all stainless steel, easy to clean, easy to monitor with the glass door, and overall a very nice food dehydrator. I hope this video helps and thanks for watching.